Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you guys what is in my tackle box. I actually carry on this bag every time I go fishing because most of the time I am fishing off of the bank, freshwater. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background on what I normally fish. First of all, I live in South Florida, so um, I usually just fish bass. Um, I don't have a boat. Well, I do have a boat, but I really very rarely use it. So I'm always on the bank, always fishing just anywhere I can. I, well, I'm mostly walking and um, I very rarely fish salt water. So that's why this bag is set up the way it is and I will explain the rest. Um, first of all, on the two side pockets I normally keep one ball of water just in case I get a little thirsty. Um, I'm not very worried about it being too cold because I don't want it to be too cold. I don't want to get overheated and have, and then drink something so cold and it makes my uh, stomach hurt. So I usually just drink, have one thing of water. Also, I, on the other side, I will put this um, Bluetooth speaker in. And uh, I usually just hook it up to my phone, play Pandora, listen to the radio or listen to music while I am walking around so that, um, you know, it keeps your mind off a little bit and and that's what I like to do. Um, this backpack has three pouches and in the first pouch I keep my pliers. Now this, as soon as I'm ready to go fishing, I usually just strap it right onto my belt. Um, these pliers Maureen got for me for my birthday or Christmas I believe and they help you to get any fish off, get any weeds off your line or cut your line if you need to. So uh, this tool is very helpful every time I go fishing and I love this, this set of pliers. Also in the front pouch I keep my scale. Uh, I do like this scale and I never really keep it in my pocket when I'm actually fishing because I, again, I put it in my pockets so that I can just get it out easily when I have a big fish. Um, that's all that I keep in my front pocket, so that usually becomes empty. Actually, when I do start fishing, I usually take out maybe my uh, cell phone or my keys, my wallet, and I'll put it in there so that um, whatever happens, I don't, I'm not holding all that in my hand, in my pockets. Um, then, in the second pouch, I keep um, mostly soft plastic baits. Um, Mostly by Zoom, obviously. Um, I do have a lot of oh, trash. Um, I do keep a lot of soft plastics on me. That is what I use most of the time. Um, more trash. Um, as you can see, the, I just put some random stuff in there. You never know what is going to be biting, like when I go fishing. So I just. I just keep a lot of stuff in here and whatever I feel like using that day, I just try it out. Um, so let's see, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bags of soft plastic um, lures. Um, also I keep some bug spray with me just in case I'm starting to get bit up. Uh, Maureen actually got that for me as well, a little tiny thing, and I love that. Um, also, I don't know why I keep this in here, but it is like a spoon and a fork, like, that come together. This is the Boy Scout in me. Um, I just want to be prepared just in case, who knows what happens, but I know it comes apart, I don't know how. Um, but anyways, I always keep this uh, little tool with me just in case I need a bottle opener, a fork, a spoon, a knife. Um, it has some random stuff in it, but it's pretty cool. Let's see, in one of these other pockets, I keep um, one of my trays of weights. Uh, I very rarely use this, but I keep it in there anyways because there's no really uh, nowhere else to put them. And then I keep a little bag of hooks. Now these hooks are the hooks that I use normally. I have other hooks, but I keep the big pouch in my front pouch in my front pocket so that it's easier to access when I need it. 
because all the other ones are actually pretty hard to get to. Um, these are 5 aught VMC hooks, and I love these hooks. I could, I could use these hooks forever. Like, they don't compare to any other hooks that I've ever tried. More trash. Um, and that's everything for the middle pocket. Now I do have the big pocket. I guess I can put these back in. So that I can make room. And that's another plus for keeping all the soft plastics right in that pouch. I can just take them all out, search for what I want, put them all back in there, that easy. I don't, I'm not fighting into like um, other type of boxes or anything like that. All right, so now um, in the big pouch, I just keep two hard plastic uh, boxes in here. Um, I've had these hard plastic boxes for maybe two years now, and um, I do have another one, but I don't like to keep it in here because I don't have enough stuff in here. Um, but in one of them is just basically some more soft plastic worms. These I didn't have pouches for, so I just put them in here. And they've been in here forever, and I very rarely use them because they're so hard to access. So they're actually going bad. So that was a very bad setup to leave them in this box, but I really had no other choice. Um, and then the other one, this is my main hard plastic box. Uh, I like to keep a variety of stuff in this um, box. Uh, I keep the weights that I like to use, which I don't use very often, but in the case in case I do want to use them, I do have them here. I keep a variety of other random hooks in here, um, all different sizes, all different um, um, strengths, and then the other the only other thing I really keep in here is all my hard plastic lures. Like these are the this is a, a top water popper. Um, this is, uh, I guess I don't know what it's called, a rattle trap or something like that. These, these two are very similar. Um, they're just basically hard plastic, uh, like pre-hooked weights and, uh, bait. Um, also, I have another top water here too. Also, what I like to keep in here is some of these... Let me see if you can see it. These are pre-weighted, pre-hooked, soft plastic um, baits. I love these. They swim so good. They're, they're having, I never have an issue um, getting a bait to, or getting the fish to, the hook to set in the fish. Like literally, if I'm using one of these and a fish does bite it, it always, I never have problems with it. The fish like never gets off it's always it's always done me right um i do have let's see four or five of those and then i have um six of these doas these are the same things but these are actually made for oh you guys can barely see that this is actually like a little tiny shrimp and it's actually made for fr for salt water but i've caught a lot of bass on it just like this and uh so I have nothing, nothing bad to say about it. It definitely does its job, um, and that's what I keep in my tool in my tackle box. If you guys have any other questions about what I like to use or what soft plastics I use or anything at all, just leave a comment below. Like this video if you uh, if you did like this video and subscribe. Thanks, guys.